All right, coronavirus work. We're not interacting with anybody else, so we can still make dump runs. Episode. What's that? The coronavirus episode. Coronavirus series saga. Day day 400. <laughs> and a lot of wood. We can't really use any of the wood here, even though some of it looks all right, because termites, it's not just not worth the risk. And the wood really isn't, you know. Anyway, something I need. A lot of baseboards and whatnot. This is... This is why the ladder rack is important. So these are 20 foot sticks of uh, baseboard. And anyway, I wouldn't be able to haul them otherwise unless I had a saw and I have to break them all down. So super handy. Well, every once in a while you just get to working and you sort of develop a rhythm and start making progress. And then it's easy to forget to, you know, do little things like like record your progress. All right, so. I guess I'm going to start from the front and work my way until I get some room. There's a lot of stuff that just can't be salvaged in here, so it's going to have to go into in the trash. There's china in that cabinet there. Look at these old saws. That's a darkroom door. Lamps, pictures. That's a cattle prod. Torch. Uh, and that really only matters to people that have YouTube channels. But for posterity, I like to get a little bit of video from time to time and, and record what's happening. There used to be one of these cabinets that fell apart over here. I've spent all morning cleaning that up. That was, you know, better part of a three-yard truck. I've been taking the saw blades. Greg, you'll appreciate this. These, uh, these are just some of the saw blades. I've got, you know, dozens more in here. And then dozens and dozens more in the house. But we're starting to make some progress. The, uh, some things I probably should part with this sticker machine. I don't think it has stickers in it, but uh, start to make some progress and set aside things that might be of some value. You know, some of the isolators. Uh, Lee, you'll appreciate that. And then some interesting things. I've got an old Jim Beam shot glass shoe thing. Uh, some Kentucky Derby glasses. For whatever reason, I long ago they were ostensibly worth ten dollars a piece. Don't know if that's still the case. And I don't know how to value this kind of stuff. I, I, you know, of course go to the internet and eBay and see what people are asking, but what people are asking, what people are getting are two different things. Um, for the young people out there, that's what an ashtray looks like, an old school one. <laughs> so, um, well, well, let me bring you over and, uh, well, so that we've sort of got a hole opened up through, this used to be a wall. Now this goes into the shop, and we really haven't, I haven't shown you this section yet, but we'll get there one of these days. Clay's going through sorting. Uh, GM refrigerator, you've seen, seen a lot of this, but now we're going to start taking the, the stuff that's obvious trash and getting it out of here. There's, you know, a lot of nice, neat stuff in here, but then there's a lot of things that could, you know, stand to take a trip to the landfill. Old hoses and so on and so forth just you know just junk but then the hopefully we'll get through that chaff and then we'll get down to the good stuff below that and uh and then just keep moving forward just so you know if you haven't seen it in a while this is the garage part of the shop uh, drill press logan lathe under there i got a lot of work to do lots and lots of work but we're making progress all right, let me get back to work. This is a scrapyard next door. Hey, look at all those cans. Never seen so many. Well, scrap metal prices suck now, so it figures just the just the minute that we're starting to turn it around and get some scrap metal, try to defray these dump costs, the prices tank. Whatever. 